Today we are taking a look at the Vermeisen Digital Surface Resistance Meter. This unit is available as a standalone unit, the 222643, and as a kit, the 222642. The kit includes a set of two leads, two 2 kg electrodes, one gator clip, a banana jack adapter, two AA batteries, and a carry case. Before first use, install the two AA alkaline batteries needed to power the meter. Ensure that the battery's polarities are orientated in the correct fashion to avoid any possible circuit damage. The 222642 Digital Surface Resistance Meter is an instrument designed to measure resistance to ground and resistance point to point in accordance with the ESD standards. The Digital Surface Resistance Meter also measures ambient temperature and relative humidity. To carry out any tests on a surface, first remove where possible all items from the surface, including ESD sensitive devices, but do not clean the surface prior to testing as this could affect the reading. In order to measure the resistance to ground, connect both shielded test leads to the test jacks on the meter. The black test leads 3.5mm plug connects into the stereo jack and the white test leads banana plug connects into the banana jack. Attach the black sensing test lead to the protective earth ground. Use one 2kg electrode on the other test lead and place the electrode on the furthest convenient point on the surface. Push and hold the test button until the surface resistance mantissa is displayed on the liquid crystal display. When set to full, the meter will cycle through a 15 second electrification period that displays the temperature and relative humidity before the surface resistance mantissa is displayed. When set to quick, the meter will skip the 15 second period and immediately display the measured surface resistance mantissa. Surface resistance zone values are expressed with a mantissa and an exponent of the number. The display will show the value for the mantissa with the exponent displayed via LED. In our example, the number 7 exponent LED illuminates and the meter displays 4.38. Therefore, the measurement is 4.38 times 10 to the 7 ohms or 43.8 million ohms. The resistance point-to-point -point measurement of a surface can be checked by using the two 2 kg electrodes. Place them on the most commonly used area of the surface. Ensure that the electrodes are about 25 cm apart from each other, 5 cm away from any edge and 8 cm away from any grounded point. Push and hold the test button until the surface resistance mantissa is displayed. Perform additional measurements by placing the electrodes on the most commonly used or worn area. Set the meter to quick test mode to skip the 15 second electrification period if preferred. Should the most used area not be obvious, use two points near the center of the surface. As we can see from both tests performed today, our bench matting is in the static dissipative range. If any measurement is outside acceptable limits, clean the surface with an ESD cleaner containing no insulative silicon such as Resdor anti-static surface and mat cleaner. Retest the surface to determine if the cause of failure is an insulative dirty layer or the ESD work surface material. Additional features to note with the digital surface resistance meter are the automatic test voltage selection and low battery indicator. When set to auto, the test voltage will automatically switch from 10 volts to 100 volts when the measured resistance is 1 times 10 to the 6 ohms or greater. The function LED is located above the push buttons will flash when the battery voltage drops to approximately 2 volts. This indicates that the meter's batteries should be replaced. 